Hello, my name is Leia, and the fad diet I chose to present today is the Paleo Diet. What is the Paleo Diet? The Paleolithic Diet is a diet that pertains to what humans once consumed during the Paleolithic era. And this diet is believed to be promoting good health and for consumers to really be aware of where their resources and food come from. I chose to do the paleo diet because I remembered that my AP World History teacher did CrossFit training and she implemented doing the paleo diet. So this therefore sparked my interest in researching the paleo diet as well. Its macronutrients are divided into carbohydrates, proteins, and fats. And for this diet, it contains 30% carbohydrates, 30% of proteins, and 40% of fats. Looking at the timeline of this diet, it originated during the Paleolithic era or Stone Age within 40,000 BC to 10,000 BC and this diet then wasn't resurfaced until 1985 where health experts and professionals really hypothesized what is within questioning about healthy ways of eating within ancient and modern ways of healthy eating and this diet then moved on into the 2000s where there was a movement of really emphasizing the good health and benefits of the paleolithic diet and later then evolved into 2013 and to today where it became a modern day trend and a social media trend where many people today and many health enthusiasts wanted to try this out as well foods to eat and not to eat. In summary, this diet is a low salt, low carb, and high protein type of diet. And the foods not to consume in this diet really are al no alcohol, coffee, salts, refined sugars, as well as processed foods as well. So this diet is a really healthy diet. The purpose of this diet is to eat healthy foods in similar and relations to once our ancestors ate during the Paleolithic era and questioning whether how it compares to modern day and versus old ways of healthy eating as well as it benefits in treatments and preventions of obesity and specific type 2 diabetes, it benefits weight loss as well as the prevention of cardiovascular disease and cardiovascular risk factors. How the Paleo Diet Affects Glucose and Insulin Resistance In an article published by Mashrani and colleagues, they have conducted a randomized control trial on type 2 diabetes patients where the first group consumes the Paleo Diet and the second group consumes the ADA Diet. Based on the glucose levels indicated as HbA1c and insulin sensitivity on Table 2, we see that both diets have a decrease on both levels. However, we could still conclude that the Paleo Diet group had a greater improvement in insulin resistance than the ADA Diet group. This is also a randomized test to evaluate how the paleo diet may be beneficial of dietary changes in effects of preventing cardiovascular disease risk factors and how this specifically impacts lipid profile, blood pressure, anthropometric indexes, and inflammatory markers. Therefore, based on the results that we see here is that there is a significant drops in all levels, but however, this still lacks the effects of how this determines whether this diet affects the prevention of cardiovascular disease risk factors, and I also have the data on on the next slide. Now that we know that this diet implements low consumption of carbs and lowering our blood glucose levels, the body would go reverse of glyc glycolysis and instead undergo glyconeogenesis where it would trigger glucose synthesis from non-carbohydrate sources such as lactate, glycerol, and amino acids. As much as there are so many benefits to the paleo diet, there is a risk to pay attention to in which individuals may risk low calcium intake but also high magnesium intake. However, in an article written by Mannheimer and colleagues, it does claim that there is a balance with the calcium intake when consuming low, low amounts of salt, high protein, and the alkalizing properties in this paleolithic diet. The main takeaway is that yes, the paleo diet is worth trying out. However, this is also considered a fad diet just because of the ideology behind it of how we have to eat like our ancestors because realistically we have more resources than what they had back then. So within trying 
the paleo diet, I advise to try it with knowledge, learn the history of it, and try it within your own discretion. Thank you so much for hearing my presentation. Here are my references.